Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to move files from source folder to destination folders based on the file date. So suppose if you have the files of 2023 June, then those particular files should be moved to the June 2023 folder and if you have the files of July 2023, then they should be moved to the July 2023 folder and the destination folder should be created automatically if the destination folders does not exist. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how can we move the files to the month wise folders in SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. In the D drive I got an input folder and in the input folder I got these particular files. And if you look at the date of these particular files, so the first three files they are of June 2023 and the last three files they are of July 2023. So the first three files they should be moved to the destination folder. So my destination folder is this one D destination folder. So what should happen that here a new folder should be created with the date as 2023-06 okay and all the three files should be moved to that particular folder and similarly another folder 2023-07 should be created in the destination folder and all the three files they should be moved to the destination folder. So let's see how we can do that using SSIS. So this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today. So first of all we need to create some SSIS variables. Those will hold the values of the input folder, destination folder and the file path of course. And we can also create a variable uh, like yyyymm so that we can just pass the year and month and the respected file should be moved to the destination folder okay so first of all let's create some variables here all right so the first variable that i will create is uh, source folder so i will call it as source folder and the data type i can take as a string okay and then i need to provide some value to it so the source folder is this one d input folder okay so i can paste the value here now I need to create a destination folder so I will call it as dest folder and the data type will be a string as well here and I can just copy the destination folder path from here and I can paste it here okay. Now another variable I can create is uh, file path okay so the file path will contain the path of the file that will be moved and I can copy any file path from here and that value will be replaced by the SSIS package during runtime. Another variable I will call it is as file name okay and the file name will contain the name of the file. So maybe I can copy the name from here. The name will be you know uh, extracted from the file path. Alright now I can again declare a variable like yyyymm okay so that we can pass an input variable and according to that value the respected file should be moved okay so initially we will move the 2023-06 files to the destination folder okay now another variable that i will declare is as dest final path okay the final path will be like uh, the destination path this one along with the yyymmdd okay and this value will be uh, get by concatenating the value of the dest folder path and the yyymm okay so I need to go to the expression and then I can just drag and drop the dest folder here and if I click on evaluate expression so I can get the value of the destination folder now I need to append the backward slash so if you want to use the backward slash in the expression then you need to use it two times okay and then I can use a plus sign and now I can concatenate the value of the yyymm. Now if I click on evaluate expression, so this will be the final value of the dest final path. Okay, so this should be good. So I can click on OK. Now the last variable that I will create is the should move file. Okay, and uh, this particular variable will contain the value as true or false. So it will be of type boolean. Okay, by default it will be false and if we need to move the file then we will set this value to the true. So how this value will be populated what will happen that we will use a for each loop container in the source folder and the for each loop container will loop through all the files in the input folder. So now according to the value of the yyyymm 
we will check if a file contains this particular value in it or not. So if a file will contain the yyyymm in the file name then it means that we need to move that particular file and if a file does not contain the you know year and month that we are looking for then we can ignore the file and the value of the should move file will be false and we won't move that particular file to the destination folder. This is how the process will work. So now what we can do, we can use a for each loop container here and the for each loop container will actually loop through all the files in the input folder. So I can just configure the for each loop container and because we need to loop through the files, so we will be using the for each file enumerator. Okay. And now I can go to the expressions and from expression I need to use the directory property. Okay, so the directory property will be used because I want to pass the value of the source folder from the variable. Okay, so in case tomorrow if you want to uh, move the files from another folder, so you just need to provide the value to the input folder in the variable. So I can click on OK. Okay, I want to move all the files, so I will leave the star dot star as it is, and I can go to the variable mapping. And from here, I will select the file path because I want to assign the file path of the file into the file path SSIS variable. Now I can click on OK. So this is good. Now I need to use the script task here and I just want to write a couple of lines just to know if a file contains the year and month in it. Okay. This is one of the easiest thing to do in the script task. So that's why I'm just using the script task for that particular thing. And for creating the folder and moving the file, we will be using the file system task. So I need to select a couple of variables from the variable list. And the first variable will be the file path because I need to read the value of the file. Okay. And uh, another variable I will select is the yyyymm because I just want to read the value of the file path and then I just want to get the value of the yyyymm. And I just want to check if the yyyymm exists in the file name or not, you know. So I can select these two variables from here. And accordingly, I want to assign the value to the uh, should move file. So for example, if the value of the yyyymm exists in the file path, then I will assign the value true to the should move file. Otherwise, we will assign the value false to the should move file. So I will click OK. And now what I will do, I will simply copy the name of the variables from here and I can paste them here and I can also copy the name of the third variable as well. Now I need to click on the edit script so that it can open the script editor for me. Alright, so the script editor window has been opened up. I can close the solution explorer. Now what I can do, I can simply copy the name of the variables to here and uh, I can also copy the last variable as well. Okay, so let me just declare a variable a string file path and need to get the value from the SSIS variable dts dot variables and then I need to copy the file path from here uh, dot value dot to string okay and now I will get the file name from the file path so I will call this one as file name okay and uh, I will write system dot io dot path dot get file name okay and I will pass the value file path here so what this particular line will do it will get the file name from the file path and will assign it to a variable file name okay now we need to declare a variable for the yyyymm as well so I can simply copy the first line and paste it here and let me copy the this value and paste it here as well okay now what I need to do, I need to simply write a if condition if uh, file name dot contains and I need to pass the value of the this one yyyymm. So if file name dot contains this one, then what we need to do, uh, we need to assign the value uh, should move file to true. Okay, so let's declare a variable should move file and it will be of type bool. So initially we will set the value as false but in case if the file name contains this value yyymm that we will pass then we will set the should move file to the true okay so that's the only thing so this is simply couple of lines of code and that's that's what we need now after this particular code is run uh, we need to assign the value of the should move file 
from the local variable should move file so I can simply uh, copy this one should move file and we need to assign the value from the should move file local variable okay so our code is done now what we can do we can also uh, put this particular code in the try and catch block sometimes this is required that in case if any error will occur then you know uh, it won't throw the you know failure message and the process won't fail at this particular line okay so I think this is done uh, we have put the try and catch block as well now you simply need to click on file exit and uh, I can click on ok and I will share this code with you so that you can use it in your environment as well you know the script task code and now I need to use the file system task so the file system task will be used to create the destination folder so in case if the destination folder won't be available then it will create the destination folder so I can connect the script task with the file system task and I will call the file system task as create dest folder and uh, on the precedence constraints we will write a condition and write expression and constants and here we will write a condition that if should move file equal to true ok so if this will be true only then the next task will be executed now we will configure the file system task and the operation will be create directory and is source path variable true and the variable name is the dest final path ok use directory if exists to true so that in case if a directory already exists then it won't create the directory so I can click on ok now the another task we will use is the file system task and this task will be used to move the file from input folder to the destination folder move file ok and now I can configure the file system task the operation will be move file uh, is source path variable true and the uh, variable name is the file path now in the destination is destination path variable to true and the destination variable is dest final path override destination to true ok so it will move the file from the file path variable and it will you know move the file to the dest final path variable so I will click on ok and our code is ready to be run and at the moment in the input folder we have 6 files uh, three files for the June 2023 and three files for the July 2023 and in the destination folder there is no folder at the moment okay if you check the variables so uh, the value that we have provided here is 2023 06 so what should happen that a folder 2023 should be created here and the respected files the three files first three files they should be moved to the destination folder so let me execute the SSIS package and see what happens so the process ran fine and if you check the destination folder so if folder 2023-06 got created and the respected three files got moved here ok if I check the input folder so now we got the files only for the July 2023 so now if I want to move the files for the July 23 as well then I can just provide the value here 2023-07 and I can just rerun the SSIS package so now this time it should move the files for the July 2023 as well so if you check the destination folder so now it created another folder and move the files for the July 2023 as well and from the input folder now there are no files ok so this is how you know uh, you can move the files to the respected folders especially the date wise folders in the SSIS so I think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.